Welcome to my sewing room. Today I'd like to share some tips on sewing with metallic embroidery threads. Sometimes these can give us a lot of issues, so I'm just wanting to go through a few ideas that have helped me out along the way and hopefully they'll help you out as well. I'll be talking about silicon spray, I'll be talking about the different needles that you can use, um, and whatever else comes to mind. So happy watching, let's get started. There are many different brands of metallic embroidery threads. Brother is my absolute favorite. However, they're a smaller cone. There's 300 meters on a Brother cone of embroidery thread. They come in many colors. They are great quality. However, sometimes we need larger cones and they will be stored for some time before we get to the end of the cone. So this one, for example, I won't be using that for a few years, so that one will need to be rehydrated. That also applies for your 5,000 meter embroidery threads as well. This one's a royal brand. I really like the royal brand, but like all threads, sometimes when you store them, they can dehydrate and they need rehydrating and that's where silicon spray comes in. I'll just take it outside now and show you how to spray your cone of thread. Okay, so I've brought my embroidery thread outside. It's away from the machine and it's in the fresh air. So now we can get our silicon spray and give it a once over. So it's really just a matter of, you can see the color change there. You're just wanting to give it a once over all the way around. And that's it. Maybe just a quick one on the top as well. And do exactly the same for your metallic threads. Just get your silicon spray and give it a once over. As easy as that. As well as using silicon spray, thread nets are a great help for metallic threads coming off the reel as they should. Sometimes they will come off in big loops and that's what causes them to, to cr crinkle up. So use your thread net and you simply make sure that the thread is coming from the top of the reel and you bring the, the thread net from the base so that the thread is coming up from the top of the cone. Needles are a very important part of our embroidery process. You must use a good embroidery needle to be successful. What happens is the eye of the needle, and it's going to be very hard to see in the, in the camera, but the eye of the embroidery needle is larger than a standard needle. But then the eye of the metallic needle is even larger again. Hopefully you can get an idea from that. The larger the eye, the less likely the thread is to shred. So it gives it more space, less friction, and much better result. So needles are extremely important. Silicon spray on your threads also helps when embroidering on sticky backing. In case you've never used sticky backing, here's a quick run through on how to use it. Basically you hoop it with the rough side down and the paper side up and you can see that it perforates away. What you do is you get yourself a pin, any old pin, nice bent pin, and you just perforate through the top layer only, not the bottom layer as well. And you can make yourself a square as big or as small as your embroidery is going to be, like so. And then just lift up that bit there and it peels off to expose a sticky layer. This enables you to stick your project into the hoop. So as an example of this, if I wanted to put some embroidery on this collar here, I would simply stick the collar onto the square and then you can put your embroidery hoop onto your machine and embroider as you normally would. So what happens is, when you're embroidering through, the needle goes through the stickiness of the, on the glue and collects the glue along the needle shaft. So what happens when you use silicon spray is it stops it sticking, stops the glue from sticking up your needle and glugging up your needle. So all around a much better result. Highly recommend it. 